Today I want to show you how to build a universal crystal radio module like this one um, that you can use for AM, FM or subways. This is the FM demonstration. This is the circuit diagram. Let's start from the left hand side. You have a coil and a variable capacitor. It could be for AM, subwave, or FM. And then you can connect that to the three different points called the hot top of the coil, the tap, the divided outlet of the coil that connects to the detector, and the ground, which is also called a cold end, which is the bottom of the coil. So by creating different type of coils with the matching variable capacitor, you can use the same circuit for AM subway as well as FM. So the signal received through the antenna and the coil and the variable capacitor with resonance as the frequency of the radio you tune to will be sent to this MOSFET, uh, which did a fantastic job of detecting very weak signals and still be able to produce a loud enough output so we can hear through our headphone or earbud. So this signal exits the 3D cube through the, the D pole which is called drain and this signal is further filtered by the capacitor 4700 PF. This capacitor bypasses the high frequency signals and leaves behind only the audio frequency signals, uh, which go through the step down transformer to convert the impedance or the resistance down to match with our headphone. Uh, the impedance of the 3DQ is very high, around 1.5k ohms to 2.5k ohm depending on frequency of the radio you tune to. We have to uh, convert it, like divide that by 4 using this transformer to, so we can get around 300 to 600 ohm uh, impedance to match with our headphone. Impedance matching is very important in crystal radio because by matching the impedance we will increase the efficiency of the energy transfer from the detector, which is the MOSFET, to our headphone. Now let's look at the components we are going to use. Uh, not everything can be purchased in the uh, US or outside China. I'll try to find a link for you. So this is the zero volt FET that I'm using. It's called 3DQ. Official name is called 3SK143-Q. It's a tiny four pin surface mounted device. Components. So I purchased it through the Chinese Taobao.com online shopping site. Uh, I don't think there's an equivalent site in US, but some of the members of the radioboard.com, the website where radio for crystal radios are discussed, there they have created uh, some eBay shops that you can go to to order these uh, components. I will put the link at the description of this YouTube video. So this is the uh, very tiny step-down transformer that we'll be using. Again, I purchased it in China, Taobao.com website. I couldn't find anywhere in US or in the foreign countries that it could be purchased. So you may try to replace it with some similar step-down transformer uh, used for other electronic circuits or even for power converters. This is the headphone that I am using. It's actually a earbud, a pair of earbuds. I record them with earbuds, R-E-E-D, because they uh, 
They are different than our conventional hi-fi earbud or headphones. Uh, the coil are wind differently, higher impedance, and more sensitive. This pair will have a total of 600 ohm capacitance, uh, impedance, 300 plus 300. It's very nice. You can hear very weak radio signals through these earbuds. If you couldn't get hold of the previous earbuds, you can try to use the earbuds for the hearing aids um, for people with uh, hearing problems. So these hearing aids also have a high impedance around 150 ohm each, so a pair of them will make 300 ohm. Sensitivity is okay, not as good as the previous one, but still usable for crystal radio. Depending on what type of headphone or earbuds you have purchased, you may want to hook that up to a jack. This is a 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo headphone jack, the same size that we use on our smartphones. Alternatively, if you already got some smartphone earbuds that you don't use or that has damage, you can just chop off the other end and then shoulder in these crystal radio earbuds. The other type of earbuds you can use is this type of crystal radio earbuds. They are actually piezoelectric or ceramic earbuds. Uh, there's a thin layer of ceramic and piezoelectric surface mounted on top. So this type of earbuds has a very high impedance around 5k to 10k ohms. The type display here is what is sold commercially. Uh, it is available in eBay or other form of online sites. However, this have a quality problem. The contact to the earbud is loosened, so you will hear something at one point in time or you won't hear anything. So try to pick a good one if you want to buy this one. Alternatively, you can make a crystal ear buds by yourself. Just purchase one of these pixel electric buzzers with a hole in the middle. And then you just put a, the tip of your pen on top and put in some silicon cushion so it, it can insert and fit nicely to your ear. This is the one I just made. I will put a link on the video that I show you how to make it. If you choose to use this type of crystal earbuds or piezoelectric earbuds, you will need to change the transformer circuit a little bit because now it will need to be wired to a step-up transformer instead of step-down. We will also need a connector for your headphone to plug in. So this one is Hi-Fi connector for 3.5 millimeter jacks. To smooth out the demodulator signals, we use a capacitor. Uh, this one is 4700 PF. It will also allow the high frequency signals to circle back to your coil, so the whole efficiency of your radio will be increased. I use this type of perf board for prototyping and also for my crystal radio. Uh, depending on your taste. Some people may want to just hang loose wires together to connect components, but if you want to make that small, uh, you can use this type of perf board to put things close together. So now let's gather all the components and let's start the fitting of the components on the perf board. I try to make the perf board small enough so we can put it in a tiny box afterwards. The first thing you want to do is to drill some holes to enlarge these this holes because they are not big enough to fit the fat legs of the connector for the headphone. Now all the holes have been drilled and we will just mount the connector on top.
also mounts the tiny transformer on the other side of the proof board. Look how small this is. You can put it into this tiny plastic box. Next, we are going to uh, solder the detector, which is an MOSFET, go free DQ. Diagram on the left is the how it looks on the top. On the right is the circuit diagram. So if you hold it this way, there's a dot before the three. So you can use it to, to double check. And the top two legs will be G2 and G1. The bottom two legs will be D and S from left to right. Yeah, let's put the 3 DQ in position, hold it a bit, just put a tiny dot of solder to fix the position. Uh, try to turn your solder iron temperature to something below 300 degrees Celsius. And please be quick when you solder, because if you keep putting it more than 5 seconds, it may damage your 3 DQ. Next, let's shoulder in the capacitor. I use the insulated magnet wire for connections and wiring up the rest of the components. Uh, it's very easy to solder and the insulation layer which is a layer of paint, we only melt at 300 degrees Celsius or above, so it's pretty safe to use it uh, to connect your components together. It's much better than using the regular threads with the rubber skin, because those skin will deteriorate over time and make your circuit very ugly in the end. So this is done. Um, at the bottom, there are the three connector points. On the left is the ground, and the middle is the tap. On the right is the hot, where you connect your coil and your variable capacitors to make your radio that you want, whether it's AM, short wave, or FM. You can drill one tiny hole to uh, secure the whole thing or inside the box through the screws of the jack. Let's compare the finished circuit with the circuit diagram. So we got everything in place and ready to go. The charm of a crystal radio is that it can function without power. Many people told me that I should call them FET radio. But I question myself if I do that, all the charm will be lost. It's like the magician without the magic. We need to tell people these are power free. I don't know what term I should use besides calling it crystal radio. So the radio is uh, too long, so I will break it out and create two more videos. One for the AM. Another one for testing FM. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to go over 1,000 subscribers. If you like the video, please click subscribe or forward the link to other friends who may feel interested. Many thanks.